by technical knockout, Kaylin Fifty Cal Schwartz. That was, it was so crucial when I won the fight. And just for the mental aspect, not so much as like the ego, but I mean, being out for a year, you get, you feel rusty, you feel irrelevant. So coming back, I was like, I gotta get this because I don't know. I honestly, I wouldn't know if I, I would be able to push through it again. I'm sure I would, but when you come into a fight like this, you don't want to accept that you will lose again. So it was pretty crucial. I didn't honestly, I didn't think it was gonna pan out just like that. But like, as it was happening, I was like, oh my god, I gotta suplex her, and like, I was like, this is like the perfect arch. I don't think I've ever arched my back like that. And uh, it was just autopilot, and we landed, and I was, I just went tor full torque, like, boom, 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 and there's blood everywhere. The plan definitely was, honestly, to make it as boring as it had to be, and that was just for my safety. Now, I developed quite a bit of my striking, and if you, you can watch my pad work and even my sparring, didn't look anything like tonight. Like, tonight was garbage, so I don't know what it is when I go, <laughs> when I get into the cage, it's like, oh, I'm just standing there taking it, taking hits, and um, I mean, it's kind of a blessing that I can take the hits, but I didn't need to take all those hits. But so essentially, it was just use the cage, cage work. I have amazing pressure on the cage, so I could have stayed there all night. And that is kind of boring. But basically, I was looking for my windows and my opportunities to to get those strikes in and kind of wear down. Unfortunately for her, it's not that easy to get off the cage when I'm pushing up against against her. But she did amazing. She's a real tough girl. Like as chocolate, I would say I would do this for free. I would do all of this for free. Um, excited for that paycheck. Um, in May, I'm gonna go do a jujitsu tournament. May 19th, Budo, uh, Budo Jits, Budo, Budo Jitsu, and that's in Bend, Oregon. Um, I have a couple sponsors that want want to take me up there. So um, I figured, what the hell? You know, I need to work on my jujitsu. It's not not the greatest. Um, I know sometimes in the cage I can make it look kind of like I know what I'm doing but um, I'm just so much better at wrestling I'd rather do that but you got to stay relevant and everything so um, and as for fighting at 115 I don't think I'm going to do this again um, that cut almost killed me this time it was pretty gnarly it was it was terrible and I think in the sense of me going to 115 the idea is so that I'm stronger but I don't think at 125 I'm going to run into that many issues as far as being overpowered you know so Honestly, it's about my health and my safety and the longevity of my career. So I think in the future, you're gonna see me as a flyweight.